No, there's been no assurance. First, I've not had any engagement with Mr. Tawo Tawo said. Um, but then in all the releases that the ECABA has made, it has said that it is its intention to run a free and fair election. So, I mean, I'm taking them at their word. Um, I mean, one of the, you know, like I said, the, the greatest challenge I have with the ECMB is that everything is falling behind. My expectation was that by now, we would have had an interface. All the contestants would have had an interface with the ECMB and have a clear understanding of how the election would run, what platform it would be run on, et cetera, what kind of access we would have to the back end, the front end, and all the various ends. <laughs> That hasn't taken place yet. And my, my, my belief is that the only reason why it hasn't taken place is because of the challenges that I spoke about earlier, that everything is running late. I mean, if you, as you know, the election was supposed to take place on the 24th. It's been moved to the 29th because of these reasons. I hope it won't be moved again. But th those are the challenges that I, I, I understand uh, or I'm assuming uh, have delayed these things. I believe that those interfaces or that interface will still have to take place at some point. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, and I'm hoping that um, the ECMBA will be true to, to its word, that it intends to run a free and fair election. Uh, that, that, that for me is the only thing we can, uh, we can um, as a profession, hope for. Uh, I, I will not, because of allegations that have been made in relation to previous elections, uh, second guess those who are managing this election. I'm going to take them at their word that they intend to run a free and fair election. And, you know, I, I, I must say that I haven't seen anything overt uh, on the side of the ECMBA that would indicate to me that they don't intend to do so. If I do, I would definitely raise it uh, uh, with, with them.